Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT Studio. Today, we're reviewing my new setup of my socket uh, organization. So, what I done was, is I added my SAE into my socket lineup in this box. Okay, this is my US General six drawer, I think it's 34 inch cart. And uh, I did a video on it a little while back when I first got it and I, I didn't uh, add my SAE into this kit. Uh, but I decided to change that because um, not only do I work on uh, vehicles, cars, trucks, SUVs, but I also work on a lot of equipment. And uh, I found myself going to my other box to get my SAE sockets quite a bit. So I said, what the heck? I'm going to go ahead and change it up and put them in here. And that's exactly what I did. So we're just going to go over this new setup, uh, the type of organization that I'm using. And we'll just take a look. Uh, so first of all, here, let's see, how, how should we do this here? So over here, I have my uh, uh, SAE uh, half inch. And let's take a look at them. Now these are Pittsburgh, made in Taiwan, six point. I've had these a long time and, and they work great. Uh, no issues. I got uh, deep and shallow. Let's see. The shallow one, same thing, Pittsburgh. Three quarters. Got a little rust down in there. No big deal. And uh, this tray, uh, I had a set of these for uh, three eighths, or uh, for the whole set, quarter, three eighths, and half. Um, but right now, I'm just using uh, the. <laughs> For the half inch, I'm trying not to say uh so much. I a lot of people in in the comments say, "How many times have you said that?" So I'm gonna do my best not to. All right, here's the three eighths. Let's take a look at them. The three eighths is on the um, oh I just did it on the Ernst rails. So here the here they are. Uh, I have the um, what are these OEM. Okay, change the color a little bit, make it easier to see. I do like the OEM uh, Impact 3.8 sockets. They're, they're pretty cool. All right, I'm not sure if I like, I, I like the way the Ernst Rail looks, but I don't like the, the twist lock stuff. I don't know, but anyway, that's what I have. And then uh, the SAE quarter inch, uh, these are Tecton. And I, I do like these rails, they're magnetic. So it works out pretty good. And the next set are OEM uh, mini 3 8 12 point. I do like their, their, their rails. These are those aluminum or alloy or something lightweight. But these sockets seem to work pretty good. And I also have the same set, um, but it's in uh, SAE. And then uh, the Tecton quarter inch, uh, same type, magnetic, love them. And then we have the gear wrench bolt biters, very good, love them. And this uh, wrench organization came with it, the gear wrench when you buy that bolt biter little set. This is both SAE and metric combo. And these are the old ones. These are cheapos, but they work. I don't even know what brand they are. It won't focus, at least not enough. But anyway, let me let you take a look at these. Inside, you can see where, where they grip a little bit. Like I said, they, they work, but not nowhere near as good as these. And then we have the Astro Nanos. All right, very cool. Nice aluminum rail. I like them because they're well marked. They have the little hole in them that will help you get them off. Very cool, Astro. 
Okay. Now we go into the 3 8 shallow. And for these, I believe they're also OEM. They're on the uh, Ernst Rails. Let's see. Now these ones I haven't painted. Some of them I have. I just haven't got around to finishing them. Like I said, they, they're, they're fantastic. No issues. Let's see if I can find one I already painted. And this is how my metric works. If you guys know a better way of painting these, let me know. And, and it works pretty good. I mean, it does the trick. All right. And these, I believe these are Sunex 12 point. Uh, these are my mids. Let's take a look. Made in Taiwan. They seem to be working out pretty dang good. All right, moving on. Let's see. The the Universals are Astro. They're also on Ernst Rails. Let's, let's pull one of them out. Take a closer look. Astro. Now, look at that. Bold marking. Love that. And these, these have been fantastic. Okay. Very nice. Let's put this one back. And we'll go on to the next thing. All right, these are my deep three eighths. These are also, wait, let's take a look, OEM. I seem to have a lot of OEM sockets. But hey, the price was right at the time and they work out good. Okay, I'm trying to put it in the wrong spot. All right, the next thing in the lineup, this is the Milwaukee three eight set. Uh, deep. The only reason why I bought these is because they came with the set with a uh, 3 8 roller roller head ratchet. And that's the only reason why I bought the Milwaukee sockets. It just came with the set. Okay. Yaddy yaddy. No big deal. Let's see. Then we have the metric shallows. Pittsburgh. But see, this particular Pittsburgh um, has nice bold markings too. Which it, it will wear off. It's not uh, etched into the socket. But hey, I'll take that for now. And last but not least, Pittsburgh Deep. No, they're not even Pittsburgh. I'll be dang. Look at that. Some of them are, though, I think. Let's take another look. I'll be dang. None of them are. Okay. Anyway, um, I have some other sockets in here, just some oddball ones. Um, I have bigger sets. I have a three quarter set and I have, uh, bigger sizes on the half inch drive all the way up to, I think 33 and two inch. But, um, now those are very rarely used. So I'm not going to put them in here. Oh yeah. And a special mention on the Vim. Uh, SAE, Shallow, Deep, and Universal. Uh, I don't really use those. Um, they look cool. I got a good deal. I got those those three sets and a uh, Vim Ratchet for a deal. I think it was $57. But I wanted to try the um, the Vim Rail system. And I, I, I do love it. I just don't want to do it up for all this because it's very expensive. So for me right now, I'm not going to do it. But anyway, hey. If you like this type of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know if you use any of these types of sockets or what's an alternative. I don't mind spending money, but I don't want to pay snap-on prices. Um, not that the, you know, of course the quality is there with snap-on, but these also get the job done for a lot cheaper price. But anyway, listen, we appreciate y'all. And um, in the comment section, or I'm sorry, in the video description section, uh, I have some links for uh, a lot of the tools in my toolbox. And it's a way to help support the channel by um, clicking on those Amazon links and, and, and buying products. Uh, but listen, I do appreciate that. But listen, today is Thanksgiving, or tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and just want to say Happy Thanksgiving and look forward to talking to you next time. Have a good day.